Hey guys, this is Nick from Panda Elf, and in this video I'm going to be showing how to play PS3 games on any iOS device. This video will consist of three parts. First, I'll explain how all this works, then I'll show some live demos, and finally I'll talk a little bit about our ideas for the future. That said, let me explain how this works with the diagram. There's four pieces needed beyond just a PS3 and an iOS device. You need a computer, a capture device, an input interpreter, and finally you need a custom version of every error running on the PC or Mac. The way it works is that the capture device streams live video from the PS3 to the computer. Then you connect that computer using every error from your iOS device. The custom build of every error that we use knows how to send tap and gesture data to the input interpreter which then feeds the right button presses to the PS3. Admittedly this process is a little bit cumbersome but the results are really impressive. A little bit later I'll talk about our ideas for the future, but right now I'm going to start showing the video demos. So first up I'm going to boot up Little Big Planet, and then I'm going to cut over to two clips without any input so you get a sense for the performance that we're seeing. And here's God of War, and you can see that uh, both the image quality and the frame rate are quite nice. And I'll just let this video sit here for a little bit, and um, after that we'll cut over to taps and gestures. So here I am demoing taps and you'll notice that I'm just tapping on the screen and it's executing a click over and over and what we can also do is do gestures. So the PS3 has triangle, square, and circle and we map those as well. So there's a triangle and a square and the square again. So we've shown Little Big Planet on the iPhone 4 and God of War on an iPod Touch. Here's Gran Turismo 5 on an iPad. I'm driving in a speedy little Prius and in the following clip I'll show the car is controlled using our custom touch thumbstick which like all the other controls is appropriately mapped to the input this game is expecting. This custom beta build of every air has hard-coded inputs per game but in a future release, we plan to make this public and fully configurable on both the PC, Mac, and on the iOS device itself. We want our control system to be fully flexible and robust. You might be wondering if any of this extra hardware could be cut out. The answer is that yes, both the capture device and the input interpreter are necessary provided you're able to run your own software on the PS3. Maybe someday Sony will allow us to do that, and if they do, we'll be first in line to do so. Finally, this method would uh, also work perfectly fine on an Xbox, but recent events around the PS3 make this device particularly interesting right now. Thanks for watching and feel free to ask questions in the comments.